Uh, on part 45 of Pokemon Fire Red, we're very nearly done now. I've got two more Elite Four members. And Agatha. Agatha, again. More ghosts and poisons and general time wasting. <laughs> yeah. Really, would you even <coughs> notice the difference if there was a bug catcher instead of Bruno? No, not really. <laughs> no. Like, man. Maybe that's just like when, whenever Bruno goes like on holiday break or something, like and just get some kid off the street in with his rat as well. I know you guys like giving like Bruno a stick and all that, but he's pretty quite badass in the Pokemon yeah. Adventures manual. Wait, is that yeah. the worth? Yeah, like, yeah, actually, like they sort of put a lot more focus into his like fighting character and that. Like, they oh, give right. him like sort of more focus than Dark Edge. Well, they give like all the characters like an edge, right? I mean, there's like a backstory about uh, Blue being an orphan and like um, kidnapped by Team Rocket. Too edgy really for me. <laughs> Too edgy for <laughs> me. <laughs> Same happened with uh, Silver, like a brand of like Silver. Uh, I think it was like Team Rocket. Yeah, because did they ever treat Silver as Giovanni's son, or was yeah, that... they did, and there was a oh, whole right. big storyline of it in the Fire Red Leaf Green arc. Oh, right. so it's sort of like, like connected in. Yeah. So they actually addressed that before the actual canon did. Yeah, That's yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool, uh, actually. Harry, you're an idiot. Why would you use Earthquake on Gengar? Oops. <laughs> it's got levitate. <laughs> well, well, I think it's, it's got... on the ground. Yeah, yeah, you would think that it is on the ground. I forgot that because it's got feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You can use Earthquake now. No, yeah, well, I'm switching. I think at this point I'm just trying to show off everyone a little bit. <laughs> just because they're at the strongest they're going to be now. They yeah. kill anything. Yeah. It was, it was quite satisfying because shortly after I got them all up to this level so I just wandered around in the little patch of grass outside pallet just <laughs> completely mullering all the pitches and matters as there. That made me feel like a real man. <laughs> yeah. Now you're a man. Like, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> like beating up the toddlers really, isn't it? Well, that's <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Like, yeah, I'm going to beat up some toddlers. The Pokemon version. Right? Yeah. But like, I've got two badass dragons. I'm going to make take advantage of that. <laughs> Charizard in Super Smash Bros. Fuck yeah! And Greninja. Oh, what is it? Charizard That's cool. <laughs> it up. Yeah. yeah. I did love that. Like, I know it's... Greninja's in it. I, I think I said actually in one of those playthroughs before that I still think Charizard should have been his own character in Brawl. So I'm just like so glad to see that they're actually making full use of him. Now they just need to bring in a grass type starter. No, no, we no, should no. really Perhaps bring in a Chesnaut to be honest. Because I like its tank character, and like its fighting ability yeah. of it as well. It would be an actual good smash light. I'd be interested. It could use Grass Shield as a protective type. It could do Spiky Shield, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah Spiky Shield. I still think Sceptile would be more interesting because it's faster. It would be. Just, you know, it's like dashing around sort of character. I like fast characters in there. Mm. Yeah. If you're going to have a grass starter in there, you have to pick Sceptile, really. Uh, if you have Chesnall, it would be more like a defensive and offensive character because it hold its ground. But if you come too close to its area, it could just like knock you off the stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's like if, with anything like that though, with, like with Pokemon, they've, they've, they know whoever they pick, they're going to piss off some people, haven't they? I don't yeah. think they'll pick Sceptile though. because no. or, or maybe they will. He's not popular the enough. They will in time for the Gen 3 remakes, so though, won't they, right? How can you, how can you say Sceptile isn't popular? Enough? It probably actually is the most popular of the Grass Stars. Yeah. Is it? I would have thought so, yeah. I, He's my, one of my favourites. I, I kind but... of started thinking, like, you know that uh, Pokémon thing? A uh, Pokémon, they... Yeah. Oh, yeah, game. when it Pokemon's... showed Lucario and Blaziken. I'm wor I'm, I was wondering if that was possibly to do with Smash Bros. Or I'm starting to think that might have just been like a spin-off game oh. or even like proof of concept or something, I'm not sure. I know um, about like um, grass type uh, starters. Mm. Well, oddly enough, like on um, Gen 5 and Gen 6, like the first time I've played them, like, mm. I've picked grass type mm. for some reason. I don't tend to use grass starters outside of Sceptile just because like, you know, grass has got I a lot of weaknesses and that. The is just because I liked its starter, like the design of it. Smugly. <laughs> yeah. And the reason with chess being because oh it looks a bit meh now, nah, but like when it's fully evolved it looks like a badass, mm. so that's the reason why I picked it. Oh she has a new Pokemon, it's Crobat. It's kind of a cool design, isn't it? Yeah. I know we had one in Ruby, so covered it mostly, but yeah, it was me, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's We're a... nicknamed off. 
It's yeah. a ball with wings. I can't even get used in this. <laughs> no. I don't think any of us... No, Chris does, but he gets in the box. Well, we're all in the box at this point. Yeah. What were you in this? I'm a rat as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe, it's all right. Next, when we do the next game, I'll make you something decent. Make right. up for it. <laughs> Is Crowbat bigger than Goldbat or what? I'm not I, sure. I think I'm, it's a little bit bigger. I'm kind of confused by how Goldbat rolls into Crowbat. Anyway, goes through a huge mouth to suddenly... Shut tight. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Pokemon, I'm, I think we're near the end. Let's stop trying to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have a dragon rematch now. Oh, Lance. Lance is the coolest mean... guy in the series. Because he has a cape and dragonites. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how brilliant we have been. I like if... his remix in um, Crystal and uh, like, Gold, Silver and it's Crystal. It's the remix of the main theme, isn't it? I think. It? I think so, isn't it? Yeah, it's like so him and uh, oh, what's it? In red. The red, yeah, yeah, him and red like, have the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're gonna kick some ass with Snowy here, if I recall correctly. How brilliant would it have been if in X and White you could like get costumes that are of previous characters? Yeah, yeah well, could have, quite and you could have worn Lance's clothes. Yeah, if I could just have Lance's cape, huh? yes. like being a cape makes anyone awesome. Like that's wearing a cape, isn't it? God, it's true. Such fun. <laughs> yeah. Like anyone looks cool with a cape. <laughs> like, that's proven scientific fact, right? Charizard wearing a cape. Fuck yeah! Even though probably getting away with the tail, but fuck yeah! <laughs> well, that, if the end of the cape gets caught on fire by its tail, it's a burning cape. Works. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'll tell Stephen wearing a coat. Oh um, no, it's not cool now. <laughs> yeah, I've got proof who's the superior Karatos. <laughs> and the my one one. Yeah, yeah. My one one. Uh, Aerodactyl. Hold on, superior wasn't introduced in this game. <laughs> Completely lying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Big uh, 66. See, yeah, big just... thunder level, but I might yeah. be using him, so it's no real big deal. Well, he could uh, hold himself against like, all these. They're not too high of a level, are they? Just, like, yeah, they're creeping up now, like 70. I, th I think we'll wait and see before I say for definite, but I think um, Pussy's Blastoise is 75. Oh, okay. I'll, I'm not. I can't remember actually. I think it's somewhere around that sort of region. Just how you casually say that Pussy Blastoise is level 75 <laughs> without even laughing. Uh, well, that's it's the thing when we make jokes like this. They are only funny ones. After that, it's just we sound like idiots. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so, I know I overkilled that Dickie's Tarzan joke a lot earlier on, and so that's why I kind of boxed him so that we don't kind of overkill it anymore. <laughs> Kind of overkilled when we started in the first place. To be Very honest. fair point. <laughs> fair point indeed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Elite Four in matches, they're not really that big of a deal. Like, it's only the levels that's a the problem. Their actual AI and whatnot, they're not too drastic. Yeah. I'd say that's one of my Pokemon gets killed. <laughs> I think so now he's gonna have a little more awesome time. Uh, have you seen Archaeops' animation in X and Y? Uh, no, what's he doing? It is freaking hilarious. It looks like he's struggling to stay up and <laughs> yeah, just flapping his arms frantically. He's just yeah. got a big smile on his face. I'm sorry, but you're up against Dragonite? You best be packing another fucking Dragonite. This is a battle for superiority here. <laughs> Funny enough, you don't even have any dragon attacks. Yeah. Uh, don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, but I don't think he's going to do all that much because of like, levels and that. I did do a fair bit, though. Like. It's still less than half. Yeah, but he could do like, another attack. Yeah. He's doing okay, I guess. Or am I going to get knocked out? <laughs> no. No, you will kill him, man. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Down you go. I have the better Dragonite. <laughs> Rubbing the wound in, yeah. using the weaker type. <laughs> and now the most annoying dragon Pokemon. Kindra. It only has one weakness, and that's dragon. <laughs> I think Palkia Yeah, it always annoys me because I always use like, electric attacks against it, and it always like, cancels it out. 
Yeah. But like, it's the same with Palkia, it's just such an annoying type combo, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose, like, at least it's not the Dark Ghost free, like, free gen suit, isn't it? Well, at least it's weak to fairy now, but... Yeah, that's something, even though fairy, there's not that many fairy attacks. <laughs> Which is fairy annoying. <laughs> Get out. No, I own this place. <laughs> You can't beat me. <laughs> Go on, die already. <laughs> no, I said die yeah, already. It's quite special can... defense as well, done it. Yeah, and now he's used the full restore. It's quite a well balanced Pokemon. It's a bloody annoying Pokemon, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to have to keep chipping away at it now. I think. See, he keeps using Dragon Dance, but I don't think he actually uses any attacks. <laughs> right. So he's powering up, like building his speed, and I think it's is it special attack or attack. No, Dragon Dance increases attack. Yeah, that's, but he's not actually using any physical, like physical attacks against me. And before the first coin special split, what was Dragon Claw seen as? Well, it's Dragon types like physical. So. For Gen yeah. 4, when it made everything overly complicated. No, it didn't. Yeah. It made a lot of sense. sense. No. You're looking for sense in a game where you carry little monsters around in a ball Shut on your up. belt. Shut up. Yep, yeah, good one, Steve. Makes sense. I think there's a difference between a uh, beam of energy and punching something in the face. Oh, yes, the punching something in the face means it's a special move, according to the rules of this with the elemental punches. Sure, why not? You're an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> uh, so this one's up to level 72 now, so we get, we're get we creeping up in levels, aren't we? Even yeah. if it is quite slowly. Oh, Dragonite's dead. <laughs> yep. Because Lance didn't teach his Dragonite a fire attack. And that's Lance down. That red hair is awesome, as well as the cape. You know, I like the way it just sort of spikes back. Interesting yeah. to see uh, Lance in a 3D Pokemon game. Yeah, I'll, I think I remember seeing... Did he ever have a 3D model anywhere? Or maybe it was someone who looked like him or something. I, I don't know, I'm confusing myself now. 